Hey, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and in today's video, I'm very excited to show you what's new in Oxygen 4.4. Oxygen 4.4 is all about making it easy to write your own CSS in Oxygen. The traditional method has been to load up Oxygen, open up style sheets, add your style sheets, and edit the CSS inside of Oxygen. In Oxygen 4.4, we've introduced an admin screen for editing Oxygen style sheets. And you can find this under Oxygen style sheets in the WordPress admin panel. This screen allows you to create, delete, and edit Oxygen style sheets. So let's go ahead and create a new sheet here. We'll give it a name called features. And when we click this sheet, we can go ahead and start writing some CSS. Now over here in Oxygen, I've just scaffolded out a quick section with some classes that I can target to style this section. So let's go ahead and pull up the front end and we'll see that everything's kind of completely unstyled. But if we jump back over here into our style sheet screen, we can start adding styles. So we can add something like OXU-features, which is gonna be the wrapper around all of our features. We'll just give it a background of EF, EF, EF. Now we can save this change by clicking our check mark icon, or we can hit Command or Control S to save. Now let's go up to the front end and refresh. And you can see here that that background has been applied but that workflow is just a little bit slow. So let's try something different here. Let's pull this over so that we have two browser windows up and let's jump back over to style sheets. And what we'll do is click our full screen icon here, which is gonna expand our code editor to take up the entire left window. So let's go ahead and add another style here. Let's do OXU-features. And then we do need to target a class called CT section inner wrap because of the way oxygen is structured. And then we can set something like gap 32 pixels. Now we can save on the left screen and jump over to the right and refresh. And now you can see we've got our background color and our gap. But again, that is a little bit slow having to switch between the windows and refresh. So what we can do is enable hot reload. Let's open up our settings here. And you'll see, first of all, we can choose a theme which allows us to change the way our code editor looks and I like to use Dracula usually. And we can also enable hot reload. We'll come back and talk about lock sheets here in a minute, but for now, let's just enable hot reload. And then we need to refresh the front end one time. Now we can go over here and start making some more changes. So we'll just do OXU-features underscore underscore card, and we'll add some styles here. So we'll do padding, 32 pixels, background, white, and border radius 12 pixels. Now, if we save, you're gonna see the right-hand browser window automatically refresh, which shows us our changes. So now we're getting into the workflow that most developers are gonna want, where you can make changes and quickly see what those changes do. Even though we're not working directly inside of Oxygen, we still get that benefit. So let's adjust our styles a little bit more. We'll do display flex, flex direction, column, then we're gonna add a gap of eight pixels. Let's save and see what those changes look like. And while that's refreshing, we can go ahead and start writing some other styles. So let's do OXU-features underscore underscore card dash title. And we'll set the font size to 1.5 rem and save. And then we'll go ahead and just continue editing our CSS with no need to really pause because we can glance between the browser windows and see our changes. Let's make one final change here before we go on to talking about the lock sheets option. So we're gonna set this to display grid, grid template columns, repeat, three, min max, 250 pixels, one FR, which should give us a nice responsive grid there right out of the box, perfect. And then we'll just set the grid column gap, to 32 pixels and grid row gap to 32 pixels. Then we could get rid of this gap here. So now we have our card layout. But what if you wanted to be writing CSS while someone else was building the structure in Oxygen? Well, the lock sheets option enables you to do that. If the sheets are not locked and somebody loads up Oxygen, let's go ahead and make this a bit wider. And they start making and saving changes here. For instance, if we saved right now because we opened before any sheets were created, it would overwrite our sheet changes that we've made over here. 
but we can fix that. We can go into our settings and enable lock sheets. Now, when we load oxygen, we're gonna see that style sheets are locked, meaning we can't make any direct changes to style sheets here, and when we save, it won't overwrite changes made elsewhere. So this allows us to do things like, for instance, say I want to duplicate this and start changing contents. We'll change this to oxygen 4.5, oxygen 4.6, oxygen 4.7, oxygen 4.8, and oxygen 4.9. Now I'm not gonna save yet. I wanna go over here and make another change. Let's change our card background color to something really bold like red. This isn't gonna look good, but I want it to be noticeable. Now we can save that change, which commits this to the database. Then we can go in here in oxygen and save this change. And if we go up to the front end, we're gonna see all of the changes we just made happen concurrently. This allows a form of limited collaboration that's never been possible in Oxygen before. And in fact, we've tested it internally with one person actively building out the site's structure and classes and things like that in Oxygen while the other person was writing CSS. And it really sped up the workflow. We were able to build pages in a fraction of the time that it would have taken us to just build them ourselves and swap between the CSS editor and Oxygen, etc. So with Oxygen 4.4, you get a few new workflow options, which really was the goal here. A lot of our users are more advanced developers. They're writing a lot of their own CSS and having to load up Oxygen just to make minor CSS tweaks can really slow things down. So this gives you an option that gives you access to only what you need, as well as the hot reload feature for seeing the front end and the ability to lock the sheets so that you can work collaboratively with someone else who's doing different things in Oxygen while you're writing actual CSS in the style sheets area. And just to round out this demo, we'll go ahead and delete this sheet here, which we can do by clicking our trash can icon. And now it's gone. If we save and jump up to the front end, everything's back to where we started. So again, this is Elijah with the Oxygen team, and that's what's new in Oxygen 4.4. Thank you very much for watching.